a pile is, is a um, structural member, a hollow rod or a um, or hollow tube or solid rod that's forced into the ground to support another major structure, such a dock or a building or a bridge. And so we all we all seen it and we all heard it uh, from a construction site, and it's uh, it can be very loud. But the problem is when, when it's done in water, such as in a lake or in the ocean, it becomes even louder. And it produces a gigantic sound pulse that can kill fish and kill mammals and, and seabirds, or at least it will hurt them or change their, their behavior. The Washington State Department of Transportation approached us, Rhonda Brooks, uh, our project manager, approached us about this problem to see if we could solve it using engineering. So we proceeded by um, doing some computer simulations and we uh, actually did a field test of a sound shield where we surrounded the pile with a, um, a structural member or a larger steel pipe in our case. To solve that we introduced this double pile where we inserted another pile inside the outer structural pile and we have an air space that separates them and these two pipes are connected at the bottom with a flexible coupling which is really the secret sauce of our concept. And here now we then impact only the inside pile and the shock wave in the inside pile now moves down but the difference is now that the inside pile does not push the water out of the way because we have an air space, it pushes against the air. So no noise is produced by the outside pile. Closely associated with the project is my PhD student, Tim Dardis. When we're fabricating subscale piles for testing, there's several components that go together to make such double pile. Um, the main, the main part is the pile itself, the inner and outer pile connected between those two are connected with this with a spring um, and on the end of the inner pile is what we call a driving shoe what you see me setting up in the lathe right now is the actual cutting of a driving shoe uh, which will be later then be welded to the end of the inner pile and subsequently connected via the spring to the outer pile and then we'll have our entire pile assembly um, the impact of this research is far-reaching um, both to myself and to the, the environment locally and the world at large. Uh, pile driving has been done the exact same way for many, many, many years. And uh, because of this project, I've been able to be at the forefront of a tweak or a change in that industry that we anticipate to be adopted throughout the world, not only here in the uh, Pacific Northwest, the United States, North America, and, and worldwide. The, the beauty of, of this particular technology is instead of um, Divorcing the sound source from from the actual receiver, that receiver be mammal or fish or whatever it is, uh, what we're effect what we're doing is effectively reducing the volume of the sound source immediately, right at right at the source. We're very much looking forward to the test that we have planned at Port of Tacoma this, this summer. Uh, Port of Tacoma has been very generous in allowing us to perform the test at, at, at their facilities. And it's going to be the first full-scale test of these piles that, that we perform. But marine construction will not end there uh, because Professor Reinhall and, and Tim, they have a number of different follow-on ideas to continue to improve the performance of piles, but also some other marine construction oriented technologies that, uh, that have a similar theme. They'll introduce efficiencies as well as environmental benefits. So uh, we intend to do, uh, to do good for a long time to come.